بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹ السلام علیکم آئی ایم زائدہ خالد یور کیمسٹری ٹیچر کیمسٹری از ناٹ نیو سبجیکٹ فار یو پیپل بٹ یو آر ویری مچ فیملیئر ود اٹ ان فیکٹ یو ہیو کور فور چیپٹر ان کلاس ایٹ سو وی ول اسٹارٹ چیپٹر فائیو The name of chapter is Physical States of Matter. Now, what is matter? Anything which has weight, volume and definite shape is called matter. Matter exists in three states, solid, liquid and gas. Now what is solid? In solid, molecules are closely packed and have definite shape. What about liquid? Molecules are not closely packed and they attain the shape of container. Now gas. In gas, molecules are very far away and have large number of empty spaces. So in this chapter, we studied about the properties of gases. The property of gases are diffusion, effusion, pressure, compressibility, mobility and density. Now we will discuss one by one these properties. First we take diffusion. This process is concerned with both gases and liquids. but it is most significant in gases. The reason is that the molecule of gases are widely separated and they have large number of empty spaces. So they do not have any force of re attraction, any force of attraction and repulsion. That's why the molecules of one gas can diffuse with the other gas. So, we can define diffusion in this way. The movement of molecules from higher concentration area to the lower concentration area is called diffusion. I repeat, the movement of molecules from higher concentration area to the lower concentration area is called diffusion. The rate of diffusion depends upon the molecular mass of gases. It means higher gases diffuses rapidly than the heavier gases, lighter gases. It means lighter gases diffuses rapidly than heavier gases. Look at this figure. This is a beaker. It consists of, or this is a jar or beaker you can say. So it consists of gases, blue dot, one gas. The other gas is represented by red dot. So when you mix these two gases, so the red dot gas that occupy the empty spaces between the other gas. So it occupy the empty spaces between the other gas. So it means in this way the one gas diffuse into the other gas. 
For example, spread the smell of perfume throughout the room. Right? And second example, the smell of rotten egg. Right? Now this is about the diffusion. Now come to the effusion. The escape of gas molecule through the hole one after the other without collision is called a fusion. So a fusion is not because of collision. Look at this figure. This is a jar. It consists of gas and there is a hole at the side of this jar. So from this hole, the gas molecules will escape, gas molecule will escape one by one without collision. So this process is called a fusion. Example of this is when a tire gets punctured. Okay. And second example is when balloon has little hole. Now come to the next property, that property is pressure. We know due to the collision of molecules, a gas exert pressure on the wall of its container. Gas exert pressure on the walls of container. So at any point gas exert an equal pressure in all direction. For example, look at this. This is a beaker and it consists of gas particles. This is the gas particle. So there is a one point, this red point. So look at this point. It exert this molecule of gas exert pressure in all direction to this direction to this direction to this direction to this direction. So gas molecule exert pressure on all directions. Okay. Now next the definition pressure is the force exerted by the gas on unit area of a container. Right? I repeat, pressure is a force exerted by the gas on unit area of a container. Mathematically, we can write pressure is equal to F over A. F is force and A is area. So, barometer is the instrument which is used to measure the atmospheric pressure. Right? The pressure of air that can support 760 millimeter of mercury at sea level at 0 degree C is called 1 atmosphere and it is represented by 1 atm. Right? The unit of pressure millimeter of mercury is also called torr. The SI unit of pressure is Pascal, it is represented by PA. A is small letter. So, the relationship between atmosphere, Tor and Pascal is 1 atmosphere is equal to 760 millimeter of mercury. That is equal to 760 Tor. That is equal to 101.325 PA. That is equal to 101.325 kPa. kPa means kilo Pascal. So 1 Pascal is equal to 1 Nm raised to power minus 2. That means Newton. Clear? Now the next property is compressibility. Students, you know gases are highly compressible because large empty spaces among the molecules of gases are present. So, by increasing pressure, 
the distance between the gas molecules decreased and therefore its volume is also decreased. Look at this figure. This is a container of gas, right? This is the container of gas and it consists of gas molecules and the volume is this one, large volume. When you apply pressure on it, this is the pressure. When you apply pressure on it, what will happen? The molecules of gas will compress and they come closer to each other. Molecules of gas come closer to each other and the distance between them decreased. Right? And in this way, when the distance between the molecules it decreased, so the volume of gas is also decreased. So this is called compressible compressibility of gas. So that means gas is compressed. So high volume or great volume is changed into smaller volume. So gas is compressed and this is about the compressibility. Now the next is mobility. Mobility. At high pressure, gases can flow like liquids and can be transported through pipes over long distance. The tendency of a gas to expand and fill the entire available space can be observed when it leaks out from the small hole of the container. Right? So this is the fifth properties. Now come to the sixth property that is density. Density. Density is the mass per unit volume. This is the definition of density. So density is represented by D. So D is equal to M over V. What is M? M is mass and V is volume. So we can calculate density dividing mass mass by V. Now gases have low density as compared to liquid. Gases have low density as compared to liquid because of huge because of huge distance among the molecules. Right? When a gas is cooled, its density increases because of decrease of volume. For example, density of oxygen at 20 degrees C is 1.4 gram per decimeter cube. But at 0 degrees C, its density increases that is 1.5 gram per decimeter cube. So this is all about properties of gases. Now your homework task is this one. First of all you learn these topics and then do this these two questions. First question is differentiate between diffusion and effusion. Second is define pressure and discuss its various units. Thank you students.